What impact do you think Goodell's statement will have on teams actually signing Colin Kaepernick for the season? I don't think that it's going to have much of an impact. I think any kind of impact that's going to be made in the direction of Colin Kaepernick is going to be from society at large and the players that clearly appear to be willing to kneel with him. Um, I think that, uh, or to be quite honest with you guys, I think that the media um, and some folks in the public have, have, have given the players a pass. Excuse me, I don't care what position myself, Max, Swagoo, or anybody else has taken. Uh, it wasn't us that prevented uh, uh, all but 11 players from kneeling with Colin Kaepernick initially. When the president called them sons of it wasn't us uh, that prevented you know, all but 200-plus players from kneeling that following Thursday night and Sunday. Uh, there's over 1,600 players in the National Football League, and Colin Kaepernick has never even had 25% support from his own body. So when people want to look at what society should be doing and what have you, the players had the freedom to do it. They didn't do it. So let's make sure we remember that while we're sitting in judgment of everybody's actions. What I would say about Roger Goodell in terms of the direct impact that he's going to have, Max Kellerman has alluded to this in terms of Roger Goodell not being a leader per se. I think that he's a leader when it comes to being a liaison between the owners and the players, but he certainly doesn't lead the owners. He answers to them. They are his bosses. And so it's incumbent upon them to step up to the plate. Jerry Jones, Robert Kraft, Arthur Blank, Stephen Ross, uh, the list goes on and on of the multitude of owners that are out there. As far as I'm concerned, if you're Roger Goodell, rather than asking him to take a knee, rather than ask him to give lip service to support of Colin Kaepernick returning into the league, and by the way, I think Colin Kaepernick deserves a tryout today. I think he deserves a tryout under fair and equitable circumstances, but I don't think that he should get a job without showing that he can still ball. I'm confident he can still ball, but I need to see it too if I were them. Having said all of that, go to Roger Goodell and simply say, yo, could you do us a favor, please? Get these owners to come with us on Capitol Hill to push forth this legislation. Get these owners to join with us in touching on these corporate, these, corp these corporations that contribute to the NFL coffers to make sure they're doing their part to help uplift disenfranchised communities throughout this country. Right. That's the action I want from Roger Goodell, not symbolism. It's interesting that now the way the owners have it, the way the NFL has it, is Kaepernick, who hasn't played now in four years. Well, he may be rusty. We don't know. Probably now, maybe now he's not too. He's not good enough after he's been probably illegally, certainly unfairly denied the right to work in his chosen profession, having broken no rules. Right? Like uh, that's unbelievable. Well, it's believable, but it's a it's a shame. Um, that said, what Goodell is saying now reflects, I think, this. To me, it reflects, uh, this is my reading of it. There are enough owners, because the owners maybe don't all feel the same way, there are enough of them now who feel it's in the league's best interest to at least feign interest in Kaepernick playing. And that says something, actually. That's, a, that's, a, that's movement from where they were a couple of years ago. They didn't feel that way then. So I would say... If there is a season, and it's played to completion, which I'm skeptical about, but if that happens, I think somewhere along the way, Kaepernick will be given a look, and I still believe, based on where he was a couple years ago and the fact that he's been keeping sharp or, or trying his best working out, staying in shape, all those things, that he's probably still one of the best 64 quarterbacks in the world. And if he is, I think he'll have a job before the end of the season. I'm willing to bet my house that Colin Kaepernick is good enough to play in the league. It wasn't even a question when all of this was going down, was he good enough? Now, the people that wanted to change the narrative of it being about the flag or Colin declined and, and he wasn't having the type of numbers that you need to have, miss me with all of that. We had this discussion about Colin Kaepernick being good enough to be in the NFL a long time ago, and that's never been the question, even in the workout the boxed workout that was put together and he had to go out and do it his own way because he felt like it was un unfairly set up, he still looked good playing the position. Bring him in. Try him out. If he's good enough, 
sign him to a team. That is the that is the way you do this in football. That is the way it's always been done. Nobody, I, I don't want to speak for Colin, but I would imagine Colin Why Kaepernick go? doesn't want a job based on illegitimacy of just being a part of the movement I, or a figurehead to say, hey, look what Swagger, we did. I want to give we you put the... him back in the league. What's up, Stephen A.? Swagger, I want to give you the last word by simply asking this question to a former NFL player. We all know that Colin Kaepernick, got, got, he can ball, and we believe he'd be back in the league in a fair and equitable situation. How many athletes do you know personally that have the talent and should still be in the NFL that are not? A lot. Thank a you. lot, Stephen A. And, and, they point, don't have, I, yeah, and they don't have and they don't have I, I, and they I don't have these issues to fall back on. 100%. Yeah, but, but we're not talking 100%. about Kaepernick Let me just say this. with a drug issue or 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 or, a, or an arrest issue or no, any I'm not other talking about drugs, kind of yes, issue. Man. I'm talking just, politics. Just following the rules. Go ahead, Swaggle. Follow the rules. the rules. And and look, the last thing is the last thing is the the thing that Colin Kaepernick was standing up against systematic oppression, racial injustices is the thing that kept him out of the league. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.